Hello, welcome back. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. It's not large. I just wanted to stop, pick up a couple little items, and I figured I'd show you what I found. Yeah. Are you ready? Do you have a drink? I do. Always, yes. It's not very large. Just a couple bags. First. Chocolate animal crackers. Yes, please. Yeah, these are super good. Eight ounces. It's a perfect snack. Well, how, what is this nutrition fact? 16 crackers, 130 calories. Well, it's still a good snack, right? And it's chocolate. You can't go wrong. I found another shampoo bar. This is the purple one. And I don't know if you saw my other, my one of my other videos. I talked about it, and I couldn't remember the name. It is an argan oil. Can you see that? Oh, these are amazing, you guys. These shampoo bars, and they come in a little um, aluminum tin, brown tin. They, oh, get yourself a shampoo bar. They have purple and green that I have found so far. If you have a different color, ooh, let me know because I will look for it. Because I love these. What else do I have? Arm and Hammer deodorant. This stuff is the best. And for a dollar, it's a little bit smaller of a size, but it's it's one ounce. But this stuff is worth it for a dollar, and it works great. It is Arm and Hammer, and they have a couple of different brands. And other ones besides Arm and Hammer also that you may be interested in. I know I'm just gonna leave my glasses on because I cannot read without them. Bonus White Rain, 20% more free. This stuff is nice. Three in one shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Cool ocean wave. Oh, it smells good. Do you ever just as a break from your old own body wash just Use your husband's or your spouse's or your boyfriend's significant other. This stuff is good. It smells good. But yeah, check it out. They have all different kinds. Also, like I said, 20% more free of white rain. 18 fluid ounces. Vitamin E, aloe, and sea salt. <gasps> Ibuprofen. Oh my gosh. I don't know where I would be without ibuprofen. Whew. And there's <laughs> there's 30 of them in here, you guys. For a dollar, you might as well grab some ibuprofen while you're there. I'm going to save these for last. Oh, I guess this is last. Okay. Look at these. These are nail polish holders. I don't know how long, for how many years... I've said, how come it, how come we can't find something to hold our nail polish for us? And at an angle. You guys, so I got two. One for me and one for a giveaway. I'm keeping purple. You guys, I hope you see this as purple. It is purple. This one's pink. There's no sparkle to them, but they are super cute. I'll let you know what I think. One for me and one for a giveaway. Have you seen the little wooden signs? This one says wicked. Oh my gosh. So I'm not quite sure. No, I I picked these up because when I write and draw letters, they're not really perfect. But oh my gosh. You guys, let me take this off for a minute because the glare is killing me. Look, it has a half moon, it has a hat, it has a broom. If you are not very good at drawing out your letters and you don't use uh, stencils or decals, you don't have one of those crickets. I don't either. Pick these up. Oh my gosh. These are the best for practicing writing. Copy it. Trace it. Paint it. You do whatever you have to. These are awesome to use for writing letters. I got, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh my gosh, I speak. My idea for this is, uh, 
paint a Dollar Tree piece of paint. I'm going to spray paint it. And I want to do a wicked and a hat type thing. Who knows? I'm not quite sure. Hopefully I can DIY it. Anyways, let's just continue. We found, I shouldn't say we, Larry, my husband, found, look at these four cat little red trucks. They're super adorable. If you see them, pick them up. Maybe you don't want them for, you know, an ornament, but you can cut them off DIY these on so many different things I'm about ready to show you. Four little red trucks with all their bling. And he found these pumpkins, four of them, with ties. Yes, they all have their little... Now, here's the reason we picked those up. No, before I get to there, let me do this one. Check the spider out. The reason I picked, he's missing a googly eye. Yeah, I, he's in the back room. I found it on the floor. Dollar Tree. And it has the little hanger up. Well, the reason I purchased this, because my intentions were to attach it to my witch's hat. But he's too heavy and he pulled the and he just pulled this down way too far and it looked goofy. Different plan for that. We found instead look at six of them. They're green and black instead of purple and black, but I don't care. These are gonna be perfect. I'm gonna dangle one, maybe a couple off of it. Super cool. All right, well, so that's that bag. <clears throat> I want to make a Halloween wreath for our front door. Cause I haven't, I haven't done any decorating. I haven't decorated, really have done no decorating. But I've decided is now, now is the time to quit procrastinating. And I'm going to make a wreath for the front door. We went out today, out into the wild, to see what we could find for a year-round wreath that we can use on our door. Well, my intent, I found this, I've got like a dollar at a sale. So, I'm going to take all the Christmas stuff off of it, and I'm going to reuse it all seasons. This spider is going to get put on it. If I have any extra, oops, don't stop in some place. If I have any extra of these, they will go on there too. Purple and green, who cares if they don't match, right? Colors, colors. All this red, everything Christmassy will be coming off. It will be stripped down and it will be turned into a Halloween wreath. And it is going to go on the front door with command strips which you can pick up from the Dollar Tree and now they have different weight sizes before you could only get what was it three to five pounds that I think they would hold now they go larger so check those out that is a little bit heavier but I still think the um, original command strip would work here is what else I found to put on there look at these adorable I don't need those which is half. Yeah, let me take one out. With the pick. Oh my gosh, I love them. They're got, I'm going to put it in the wreath. Oh my gosh, yeah, look. Oh, we might as well take the last one out, right? Aren't they cute? Oh yeah, a perfect filler for the wreath. And I'm pretty sure I have a Dollar Tree uh, mesh, you know, decorating mesh wreath. There's probably another one. And one more thing. One more thing for you. Purple pumpkins to go on it. And, you know, I have other stuff in my arts and craft totes and in the other rooms that is how odd. Halloween ish. And, um,. I just have to show you a video or a picture of it when it is done.
that is my Dollar Tree haul. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share. Check out the Dollar Tree seasonal, seasonal section, you guys. This is great. Dollar Tree seasonal section. Check out, oh my gosh, check out the candy. My husband must have taken those Reese's outside. I don't see them. But anyway, check out, don't just go in and look around. I mean, go in and check out the aisles. Look up and down the aisles. You'll be amazed at the stuff you find. This is, this is my favorite find, Dollar Tree find of the day. If you have a local Dollar Tree, stop by and check it out. Oh my gosh, you will not be disappointed. And like, comment, subscribe, share. I think I already said that, but a reminder. And until then, and I'll see you in the next video.